What's up YouTube, ProTech here, back with another video for you guys today. Today I have a update for you on my travel situation. Um, I've decided that I'm going to scrap the idea of starting this in Vietnam because I'm getting tired of their games. Um, you know, they, they fully reopen and we can't go. I'm just done. So upon further research, uh, the way I had it all mapped out to begin with was I was going to start in Vietnam and then I was going to move to Cambodia, spend a year there, and then go to Thailand and spend a year there. Um, but upon further research, uh, I have found that there is a specific visa that is only available until September of this year in Thailand, and it's called the special tourist visa which is available now and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and just do that first because then you know if I start in Vietnam and I'm there for six months and then I go to Cambodia and I'm there for six months and then I go to Thailand there's a good chance that, that visa is not gonna be there anymore right and if there's one thing that I've learned from all of this research on um, traveling in Southeast Asia is that the visa situation and like the immigration laws, they're changing all the time. It's literally changing all the time. So nothing is set in stone and you know, I'm not light backpacking, right? So, you know, I'm taking my computer and I'm taking all this stuff and I'm going to be traveling a lot with all of this stuff. And so, for me, the biggest thing is being able to not have to pack all that stuff up and go every, like, three months. It's not that I can't, it's just that I'd rather not. So if I can find ways to not do that, then I'm going to do that. So upon further research, I didn't really want to start in Thailand because I've already been to Thailand before, but, you know, it's... <laughs> I didn't, uh, it's, I haven't been there since what, 2006, 2007. So it's been a while. So I wouldn't necessarily mind going back, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, long story longer, what's probably going to end up happening here is I've got more than enough dates to work with just in terms of the price of the flights. It's very inexpensive. Um, especially with my credit card reward points. So I've got a lot of, a lot of dates that I can pick from. So I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sell my car first. And then once I have my car sold, then buy the ticket and, you know, put all that information in. Cause you can do all of this online. You can apply for these visas and stuff online. Um, the problem is, is that to get through all of it, you need to have a flight number. So I don't want to have a flight number right now because if I have a flight number, then that means I'm going to be crunched on time to sell my car and I don't have anybody here who can handle it. So, you know, I want to get a little bit more out of my car than a scrapyard or even, you know, something like we buy any cars or something like that. So I'm trying to sell it person to person so I can get a higher value, more money out of the car, right? So uh, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the trigger on this. Um, there's a little bit of a quirk going on. They have something called the sandbox test. I actually have it pulled up here. Um, let's see, air travel. Uh... Where did it go? They, they have like three different kinds of things that you can apply for. Like one's called, one's called test and go scheme. The, the second one's called for the sandbox or excuse me, the sandbox program. And then the third one is called alternative quarantine scheme and all of these have different things that are 
you know, that you have to follow or whatever, but escaping quarantine is not going to happen. Um, but after the 1st of April, they're reducing the time by quite a bit. So I don't know how the process works exactly, um, but I'll figure it out along the way or whatever and definitely keep you guys updated. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, change of plans. Um, I'm just tired of waiting for Vietnam to you know, open up and stuff like that. You know, I really want to get the ball rolling with this. I don't want to live here anymore. I'm ready to go, ready to travel. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Anyway, as per usual, guys, thank you for watching, and I will definitely keep you updated with what is going on. Peace out.